Hello. Another story. You can see my big belly here. Hope you can see. This one is called Dad's Grand Plan. Um, published by Oxford University Press. Everyone was excited. It was holiday time. Kipper couldn't wait. <gasps> Two more days to go! Two more days to go! He said. Chip looked at Floppy. He was running around and round and round and round. They all laughed at him. <laughs> See, even Floppy is excited, said Chip. Mum came in. She gave a big sigh. <sighs> Dad wants a family meeting, she said. What's that? asked Skipper. Dad has a grand plan. A, a grand plan? said Chip. What's a grand plan? Don't like the sound of it, said Biff. Everyone sat at the table. Dad had made a long list of jobs. I want everyone to help. Then nobody gets cross, he said. Everyone looked at the list. They all had jobs to do. Mum liked Dad's grand plan. Chip was not sure. I've packed my bag, said Biff. And I've packed my bag, said Kipper. I have not packed yet, said Dad. Why not? asked Mum. I can't find my socks, said Dad crossly. Where's my socks? Where are my socks? The socks were in the washing machine. Why were they in there? asked Dad. That was there because you put them there, said Mum. It was time to go. Dad's grand plan had worked. Nothing had gone wrong. There's still time, whispered to Chip. Mum drove the car. Kipper was fed up. He didn't want to sit in the middle. You can take turn, said Mum. <laughs> Kipper was hot. He began to moan. <sighs> can we stop for a drink, said Chip. No, said Dad. It will make us late. Kipper wanted to change seats, but Dad didn't want to stop. Maybe we should, said Mum. Yes, we are all thirsty, said Biff. Mum saw a place and stopped. She looked at the back of the cup. Where's Floppy? Gasped Mum. We can't have forgotten him. But it was true. They had forgotten poor Floppy. We'll have to go back for him, said Mum. So much for Dad's grand plan, said Biff. They went back and got Floppy, but now they were late. Mum drove fast. Slow down, Mum, said Kipper. I feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> there was a pop. What was that? Asked Dad. A bag had fallen off the roof rack. Mum stopped the car. <laughs> The bag was in the road, it had come open. There were clothes everywhere. They look like Dad's clothes, said Biff. Dad's socks were in the road. His shirt was in the hedge. His pants were in the tree. The children couldn't help laughing. <laughs> Don't stand there laughing, said Dad. Help me pick up my clothes. 
This wasn't in Dad's grand plan, said Mum. At last, they got to the holiday cottage. Next to it was a little stream. There was a rope swing on the tree. It looks great, said Kippa. Dad unlocked the door. Everybody went inside. There's soot everywhere, said Dad. It has come from the chimney. What's that? said Mum. A black bird was in the room. It's a crow, said Dad. It came down the chimney, said Mum. Dad caught the crow and let it out. Everyone was sorry for it. I'm glad it's gone, said Biff. But what a mess it's made. Cleaning up soup wasn't in Dad's grand plan, said Biff. Noah was having his pants in a tree, laughed Dad. The end. Hope you like the story. Till next time. Bye. Nobody has gone. Nobody. Nothing. Dad, stand. Dad, stand. It was time to go. Dad's grand. We'll all have to go back for him. Will? 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 Will?